everybody, and happy Monday to you. I am Winnie Sun, your host here on Modern Mom Monday. Let me tell you, whenever I hear that intro, when I see the video coming, I get all excited because it's such a nice chance to kind of get away from regular life and spend some time with you. And today's no exception because today we have a really fun topic. We're actually going to talk about how to stay and look professional on Zoom. But more importantly, I'm excited because I get to be joined by the one and only Christine Michael Carter, who let me tell you, I've been following her for some time on social media. We have a lot of mutual friends, but we've never gotten a chance to actually meet. Yeah. And you know, Zoom lets us do that, right, Christine? Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited when he finally get to chat. We, oh, I'm, I'm so excited because you, let me tell you, you I, I consider you a friend because we've actually collaborated in, in different uh, projects and whatnot. And you're such a strong and, and such a just a vibrant leader in the space of parenting and juggling kids and life and everything. In many ways, I think you've definitely got a pink, um, you know, cape grown out of your back for sure because you are definitely a super mommy. Um you know, so I feel like this is a subject that we all know very, very well. I mean, the world of Zoom, our kids are on Zoom, we're on Zoom, maybe for work, maybe even to keep uh, in co close contact with our friends and family. It seems like a new thing, right? It used to be like, yeah, I'll call you, I'll text you. Now it's like, I'll Zoom you. I don't know about you, but I feel like sometimes it's just so Zoom fatigue is so real. In fact, let's give some statistics. Did you know right now, Zoom has almost 13 million monthly uh, users on Zoom. In fact, that number went up over 20% since the pandemic. And I think that number con continues to creep up higher and higher. In fact, those of you who are in the financial markets like myself, we actually see the stock continue to rise as well as many of us continue to stay sheltered in place here at home. Like Christine, what does home look like for you these days? Well, quite literally, home, me and my bedroom now, I'm at my sitting area. My son is across the room under covers watching Roblox and YouTube video games. Uh, it looks like you never from your children. So <laughs> mothers out there right now my kids knew that i had uh, a lie with you and god bless them they are very good about being quiet when i'm on zoom now but uh in the beginning it was it was just murder it was absolute murder I was trying to figure it out and navigate and i think now that they're back in school and are on zoom themselves they understand the importance of being quiet and, and muting and making sure that um whoever has the floor is able to speak so it's a lot better now it's a lot better. You know, you're going to, this is going to make you chuckle, but I actually uh, had a live streaming. Well, you know, many ways live streaming is sort of an extension of Zoom last week with a friend and literally her dog knows to be quiet until she's done with Zoom. Oh like, it's, like as soon as she's done and she like has this outro, okay, thank you so much. I'll catch up with you next time. And so the dog literally knows to get up and walk over. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So <laughs> This whole Zoom thing is crazy, but I know a lot of you are watching and sometimes wondering, you know, I don't know why it's so hard for me. Um, I'm juggling so much. Give me some tips to make Zoom a little less daunting, a little bit less intimidating. And so, Christine, I know you're going to bring it. And I know we're going to have a good conversation about this. And let me tell you, this is one of those conversations that hopefully you're going to really enjoy. I mean, I mean, today I, I can't even... Uh, out of how many Zoom calls I do per week with different clients and meetings. And, and it's so funny because you were just mentioning Roblox. My kids, like even on the weekends, sometimes, you know, they're playing Minecraft and then they're like, hey, mom, can you set the, the Zoom? And, and really, they've gotten used to playing and having that communication too. But let's talk about Zoom, which is sort of, sort of the foundation. A lot of us use this for work. It's a way for us to communicate, have discussions that you and I are having today. In fact, this morning um, I did news and they use uh, Zoom as well to record uh, the content too. Um, a lot of people wonder how best to use it. And really they, they, they find it to be rather frustrating. In fact, my business partner who, you know, he's not the most tech savvy, um, but he was literally about to throw his computer and iPad into the trash can because we were trying to get him to do more Zoom meetings. <laughs> He's evolved. It's better now. But let's start with the basics. Um, let's talk about technology 
Uh, Christine, what do you use when you use when you Zoom? Sure, and I wish I had like a double, I guess, phone situation going. But what I have right now is like I have a ring light. Um, I can send you the link to it so that you can show, share it with other folks. But I got it from Amazon. It's a ring light, and then it um, is an actual stand, and then it connects. Like there's a a uh, holder for my phone, so that when I am zooming, I'm not holding the phone or like you know have the laptop on my lap and it's shaking and my picture is shaking or my hand is shaking with the phone. So it allows me to just like talk and, and move my hands and move my body freely, but I can actually have something that's um, focused and aligned and centered, which I really love as far as technology. I think the ring light is a goddess. Um, <laughs> I used to not have the ring light and just try to use my um, recess lighting that I had or natural light and all that sucks. The ring light, I'm like, loving this right now so i highly recommend it <laughs> i love this all right i'm gonna give some of you guys that are watching a tip okay so um obviously i do national tv every week and so therefore my setup's gonna be a little different than what christine uses however i think these tips you're gonna love i'm gonna give you a couple of suggestions first off if you're gonna do zoom definitely like christine mentioned use a computer use a computer over an ipad and iphone ipad iphone zooming is very challenging because it's difficult you don't get everything on the screen like a commenting is different uh, different of um, sharing communication is a little different so if you're going to zoom definitely use a computer now you can use a webcam and and that's what i would recommend because that does make your life a lot easier especially if, you, if if those of you who have a laptop or a chromebook works perfectly fine um, i'm actually using a, a camera setup you don't need to do that. The other thing I would suggest is this. If you don't have a ring light like Christine, don't despair. I'm going to give you like a total pro tip here, all right? What I want you to do is use your smartphone, download a free uh, Compass app. Super simple. Download a free app and then point to some some window in your house or your apartment, wherever you may be. could even be in your car. Figure out where north is because if you have a north-facing window, and you face your body towards that north facing window, it's almost like perfect video lighting, mm. perfect zoom lighting. So you don't even have to spend any money. And if you're not sure um, which way is north, literally get the compass out and, and point that way. Even if you're outdoors, because some of my clients and friends will actually go and plop on the patio, face north. That's like the most flattering light, right? The other thing I would suggest too is like Christine had mentioned her ring light, total awesome great if, if you're using it definitely do that but what you might want to do is check above you too if you're in a house or what i'm in a, i'm just in a, in a bedroom right now in the house but take a look i actually have the lights turned off and most of you should actually do that because a lot of times we have recessed lighting right or overhanging lighting that's actually really unflattering because sometimes it'll show uh, one of my good friends who I did a live stream with recently showed his bald spot right above his head. Not a good thing. <laughs> if you have a double chin like me, it hides it and it gives you such a nice contour. With the rail. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have, you look beautiful. But you know, try that. Try cutting the lights in your room. And like Christine said, using a ring light or facing a north uh, facing window. I actually told my business partner that trick about the north facing window and literally that's what he uses now he's like the best tip ever and i didn't come up with that idea myself it was a, a producer friends that helped me i actually did a course with linkedin learning and while filming they were talking we were talking about these tricks so that's definitely my pro trip uh tip for you um let's talk about space christine a little bit um you talked about how you're in a room and with your kids talk to me about how you set up your ideal zoom space Sure. So I'm never like facing the camera head on. You can see I'm kind of tilted just to give a couple of angles. And then whatever is next to me, like I have a glass of water because we're going to chat for a while. But I try to keep something that's like really trendy and aesthetically pleasing. So I do have my plant here that's always in my bedroom and I have my um, jewelry boxes all lined up because, you know, we're going to talk about how to look good. So I want to actually show people that. I love um, that. I just try to have like um, normally... I try to avoid a white wall because that can just be really sterile and doesn't give you that um, kind of that intimate feeling like you're talking to somebody in person like we all need right now through Zoom. So 
soft walls, soft, warm walls. And then I also put on my website, I have free conference call backgrounds that people can download. And they're basically just like home decor, gorgeous backgrounds. If you don't have that kind of setting in your house. I love that. So kind of you. We'll definitely have to share that website with you all later. Yeah, certainly those of you who have Zoom, you probably figured out you can actually change your background to virtual backgrounds, right? And so you can see a different picture. We're not actually using Zoom right now, guys. We could show that to you, but that makes your life a lot easier. I've so many times I've done Zoom calls uh, with parents or just, you know, people in general. I'm like, is that really your background? Because it looks amazing. And <laughs> And you know, it's usually just a, it's a visual. And for those of you who are actually, maybe you're running your home business or whatnot, you can actually even have a designer create like a really simple Photoshop image of a picture and maybe putting, you know, your brand in the back and that could be your image too. So you can get really crafty and creative. It doesn't even cost that much. You can go to use Canva. Um, you can definitely use Adobe Spark. There's a lot of cool, easy to use uh, technology uh, that can help you do that. So, so great, great. I love that. And we're going to get there. And so, so let's talk about the next thing, which we talked a little bit about lighting in terms of how much you should invest for this. I would suggest for most of you, if you're just doing um, Zoom meetings for school or for meetings, don't invest too much. Like um, if you like, for example, Christine's ring light, Christine, how much did you spend on your ring? Light? I'm guessing not that much. Because I don't know what, then it's more than dollars on it. Yeah. So I know, you know, many people I actually sent, a, a, I saw a really inexpensive zoo, uh, ring light on Amazon. I sent it to my accountant, a couple other people. I said, you might want to just get, pick this up because so inexpensive. And it was like 1999. So, you know, not a huge investment, but certainly helpful on just days where you feel like you need a little extra light. The other thing I would suggest too, is if you're really serious about, you know, upping your style, a lot of people say like, well, People always ask me what I what it is that I use. And in fact, if you if you go on Amazon and you search for I think you search for Level Up or search for Winnie Sun, actually put down everything or almost everything that I use. I actually will say this: if you're looking to up your game, instead of doing one light, consider two lights. Mm -hmm. So I have one from each direction. And if you'll take a look, and I can actually show you, it's actually pretty fun. So right now I have lights so sort of matched up. I, I, I mess with them a little bit, but check this out. So I can increase the light on one side, decrease it on the other side, and same thing, take it darker and take it up. So if you have it on um, both sides, it's actually, it actually works out really well. So you could actually get a um, you know inexpensive ring light on one side and maybe using your north facing window on the other light. You know, just get creative and, and kind of check that out. I got inspired by, you know, the master of on camera, uh, Kathy Ireland, she and I did a project together a few years ago and she had a lighting crew and I was like, wow, a lighting crew, that's so awesome. But you know, something to think about, two, two sides makes it really easy. You could use a window on one side and whatnot. The other thing that's super helpful too, if you haven't done this before, if you take a look at Christine and I, we both have this behind us. We both have windows behind us and they can be really dark. I mean, really blaring, right? And so like, I actually don't have a North facing window. So I have to use artificial light. I'm guessing Christine, the same thing, um, <laughs> right? But what I love about what you did is what I had to do too, is I had to get actually a really thin, um, translucent sort of shade, like really simple. You know, you've seen this back in the day, those curtain things, you know? Yeah. And just put it behind me because it was just too bright. You don't want that too bright. And then what Christine talked about having that the, the neutral color and the plants, it gives you a nice sort of depth of feel, like gives you some texture, right? It gives you some personality. And I want to tell you, um, you know, on camera, things look very different than in person. So don't overthink it. Don't like feel like you need the perfect perfect thing. Uh, and Lena is joining us from Periscope. And she says it's also, yeah, the, the two uh, lights does help also to eliminate shadows for sure. Um, let's see, couldn't hear them out. Oh, okay. Lena said she couldn't hear them out on the Amazon um, ring light. I was saying that uh, definitely I, I suggest not spending more than $20 unless you're going to do this like an ongoing process. The other thing a lot of people don't realize when you buy video and lighting equipment on Amazon, Highly recommend, this is a financial pro tip. Highly recommend you look at Amazon warehouse deals, okay? Christine, I'm sure knows this already. 
But when you're looking for a ring light or a microphone, look for the Amazon warehouse deals. Sometimes these can save anywhere from 10 to 30 or more percent off because video equipment isn't equipment that you're eating or, you know, so it doesn't have to be brand new. So good condition is usually just fine. OK, so really want to recommend that you think about that as well. All right. Let's talk about audio, Christine. OK. What do you do with audio? So audio, I'm not so strong with. So I love this. This is like we're doing the Today Show third hour. I wish I had wine because it's 530. Well, five something where I am on the East Coast. But really, I'm bad with audio. So I'm looking for you to give me tips there. All right. I, I got you. I got you. Let me see if I can look around. Okay. My actually, so I will show you. So for audio, this is key. So if you are doing zoom often, if it's just for me, if it's for meetings for work, just remember people are more forgiving for video, but less forgiving for audio. Like Lena had mentioned earlier, they want to be able to hear you. So probably the most important thing, if you can in your house, if you can get yourself off Wi-Fi, that's going to be a game changer, right? So if you can get, you know, an Ethernet connection at the house or the apartment is very inexpensive. You can you can usually have someone come in um, just for like less than twenty dollars and set up an Ethernet connection. It's like back in the day before we did Wi-Fi, and then just get a simple Ethernet cord to have it connect to your computer. So yeah, you're going to need a long wire. I actually have a very short wire because my room's not that big. Big, and I'm actually very close to the wall. So therefore, I think I only needed like, like three feet. Um, but that did it. And that's a game changer. Ethernet is so much more consistent than Wi-Fi, especially since like my kids are in the house on, uh, on their Zoom calls and everything else. And you get a little crazy. So highly recommend that. That will also help you with your audio. Now, in terms of audio, you don't have to get too creative. You know, uh, for most of us, this is going to work just fine. You know, these are like the, you know, the earbuds that come with our cell phone. You can definitely do that and that will help with your audio. You can use obviously Bluetooth headset works really great too. Um, this is what I used to use. I'm going to tell you because uh, I used to have a podcast too. This is just a, they call it con it's called a condenser microphone. Okay. You can get one of these on Amazon. This one's actually made by Sure, who I love. I love Sure mics. I love Rode mics if you're doing more professional style. But if you just get a condenser mic, I wouldn't spend too much money as well unless you're doing like professional stuff. That will work just fine. Um, also, sometimes, like I feel like I can't hear somebody. If you feel like you can't hear somebody, it's usually because the other person isn't close enough to the speaker area of their laptop or phone or whatnot. But what I do is I actually use a, I do use a wired microphone. Um, and that's just because of what I do, but, um, but you don't need to do that. Obviously that comes at a much greater cost. I would suggest for many, most of you, this is going to work just fine. Okay. And if you think you don't like the way it looks, mm -hmm. It doesn't look too bad. It kind of gives you like framing, right? But let me tell you a little secret, a secret tip. This is, okay, again, a pro tip. Christine, you'll love this. This is kind of a pro tip. For those of you who have long hair like me, let me show you what I did, right? So you all, many of you have this, right? Um, Airbuds or whatever. Um, you can buy on Amazon. This didn't cost too much to you, by the way, because I'm like a financial person, so I don't like to spend a lot of money. You can, I actually got black stickers to stick on them so when you stick them here you can't see them yeah because so, they disappear in your hair and they look like pearls what you can yeah, they look like pearls look at them my fancy now look like I look like I got jewelry but definitely you can do that or you can literally just get you know you can just get stickers and get a sharpie and do the same thing but I did this and I, I've done this I've used this on CNBC and everything else and nobody can hear but I want to talk about this, Christine. I want you to jump in and talk about jewelry because, you know, there was even an article today. Um, I think it was on CM I think it was on CNBC or one of the financial documents talking about how jewelry sales have increased because people are doing more Zoom. In fact, um, as you know, uh, many people are buying less pants, so a lot of clothing manufacturers are upping more, you know, upper wear and less lower wear. Because I don't know about you, but I got yoga pants on and I, that's, that's good enough, right? Yeah, sweats. All good. Christine, talk to me about jewelry. What do you do? So, um, when I don't have headphones on, 
like an AT&T opera ear, I usually choose like a really fun pair of earrings. So like if I wasn't wearing gray today, I would definitely have these on because they're pretty attention getting. I find that I can get away with more statement earrings now. So like, for example, I would do just like a loop kind of deal. So I love doing something like that, like something that's kind of subtle, but still statementy. or I could do um, a dangle. Cause really when you're in the office, you can't do a dangle earring without it looking unprofessional. But for some reason on Zoom, it looks okay. So I kind of like this. <laughs> um, then I also absolutely love, I mean, love, love, love a necklace. So um, one of my favorites, I've been doing a lot of conferences lately with this one, just because this is like an ode to hip hop and everything. And it's class. It it's, cute. Like, it's not a gold chain, but it's like that. It's that inspired look. Yes. For looks really great on Zoom too. So I really like to pull out my statement jewelry when it comes to doing Zooms. Yes, absolutely. I agree with you there, Christine. <laughs> Definitely um, plastic looks just fine on Zoom, guys. So, you know, don't don't overthink this. In fact, I've actually gone through my kids' collection when I change things up. One thing I will suggest, though, something to be mindful of. So some of you might get more creative with your audio and whatnot. Like, for example, I have a mic, a lab, I'm using a lab mic right now. But something to consider, sometimes, like, necklaces can make noise. So we just be, want to be mindful of that, too. You want to make sure they, they stick and they don't move too much from you. Um, and, and and as we know, you know, like, I mean, I'm using high resolution camera. Many of us aren't. So it's, you know, things can get very forgiving. Don't overthink it. Um, and I'm guessing, Christine, that that plant behind you, is it real or is it fake? Because we can't even tell. Yeah, it's real, It's but it's a Walmart. <laughs> yeah, and it's a Better Homes and Gardens pot. It's not like I went out to to uh, Crate and Barrel or anything like that. Yeah, it looks so cute. I love it. Okay, yeah. so great, great, great. I love the uh, suggestion about jewelry. Now I'll tell you, I'll share with you on Zoom, I think you can really go, you can really wear anything on Zoom. I think it's very, very forgiving as long as you feel good about it. And you know, you feel, the great thing is you, in most cases, you're not seeing anything from, you know, the belly down. So yeah, don't worry about that. Just make a habit if you're gonna be like us and wearing yoga pants and sweats. Maybe just don't stand up when you're doing Zoom and you're good. <laughs> I got from the beauty supply store for a dollar. And mm -hmm. in person, they can be a little Texas y and flashy, but on Zoom, it's like a really good pop where it it's looks really good pop. Yeah, and I, I do think so. I think I would, I, I'm, I'm with you, Christine. I think making the effort makes a lot of sense. Like adding the earrings, adding a necklace. Um, you know, I actually do prefer to uh, wear solids on camera, but it's just because before this pandemic, I was doing a lot of national TV and it just worked for me. And, um, you know, and I actually have my live streaming Zoom clothes that I put on. So after this, you know, you can get comfy and then you can just switch back and forth. Super, super easy. Um, I love this. Talk to me about um, your skincare regime because I know a little birdie told me that you've got a great Zoom skincare tips because, um, you know, obviously you look great. What do you do? A little birdie. So I am obsessed okay obsessed um with the modern mom day cream mm -hmm. and night cream and i'm gonna tell you why i i am i've tried products before i absolutely hate wearing foundation concealer all of that i don't have any of that on my face right now but what i will do is work on the skin cream i'm all about that um or the beauty routine so i put it on it and during the day i put it on at night i swear to god like the minute you walk out the house and you have it on during the day, you don't have the bags. Like I, I've had people say to me, my kids look like my siblings because I'm short one, but also because I don't look like I'm 34 years old. And I feel like that has a lot to do with the care that I put in my skin. And I had tried so many different creams before. I, I'm like obsessed. You have no idea. I am obsessed with it. <laughs> Well, I guess that works out because that's that's from the fr our friends here yeah. at Modern Mom. Um, and, you know, I know they worked on this for a really long time. It's from some really great scientists or doctors or whatnot. So, yeah, so Modern Mom has this 
eye cream. In fact, they 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 sent me some. I will tell you, it's it's great because it's not heavy. Um, so if you haven't checked it out, that's you know what Christine's talking about. Um, really, really cool stuff. So I know a lot of people will say like, I didn't even know. I heard someone say this recently too. I didn't know Modern Mom had products. I don't think they have a lot. I think they're just really careful about which one. I know it takes a lot for Modern Mom to endorse a product like this. So it's pretty cool. I'm really proud of them. And it's, it's really good stuff. So definitely check that out. And you can see it. it's on the Modern Mom website. And Lena, who's joining us, also says mineral powder is great. Yeah, I can't agree with you more on that, Lena. I do think, you know, um, you know, Christine obviously looks very young. She's got great skincare routine. Um, I do think like um, here here in Southern California, it's been so hot lately. And that definitely helps. If you want to just look, you know, smooth it out, you can definitely just use powder real quick, super, super easy. My go-to, just because it's sort of become a trademark for me all these years, is lipstick. I, I love good. lipstick, you know. Um, MAC. Mac actually sent me a whole box of lipsticks just recently, just out of the blue to surprise me. And I was like, oh, that's so kind of them. So I guess I don't have to spend money on lipstick for a very long time. I think they sent like 10 sticks of lipstick. Oh, but. Well, I have my here, but I'm like, you're absolutely like a lovely red lip is really good. Now what I did put on was some mascara and, and did my brows, but that's it. Like I didn't do the contouring and all that madness that I normally do for photo shoots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's super, super. I think with um, Zoom, I would just say don't overthink it. Now, the yeah. other thing I want to give you guys all a tip for, because I think it's really, really cool. I wish I had known about this too, is, you know, something called diffusion in light. Okay, so Christine obviously has a ring light. Um, we talked about, you know, using a north face window. But if you feel like, Maybe, you know, I've heard some, some, actually I've heard both women, men and women say like, you know, sometimes I feel like, like it shows every imperfection or this and that, you know, you can really get creative with, believe it or not, just like really, um, you know, this is going to sound really strange, but you know, when you, when you use a public restroom, a lot of them, they have those sheets, right? Those, um, the, the seat covers, those actually, you can actually cut a piece, you can put it on a light or whatnot, helps just gives you that little bit of diffusion. That can really be a game changer in lighting. So, so consider that, okay? Kathleen, who's joining us, I love this. It says, foundation and lighting do big difference. I love the way you look on camera, that diffusion light, oh yes, yes. So you can use a diffusion on your ring light or you know, if you really can't, you don't wanna spend a bunch of money, you literally could get like, like a flashlight out or shop light or even your lamp at home. And Here's a those are oil absorbing. So if you get shiny on camera, you can just put them on your T-zone and you'll be fine too. Yes. I have actually had to do that because <laughs> I, I travel a lot, right? And usually um, someone from my team, we would we used to travel all the time before pandemic. We would shoot videos in the airport. We'd shoot them like after we landed or we're about to get in the airport. And so many times like... You know, I'm a mom. I'm like focused on work. So I'll just like go to the restroom. Be done with it. I've done it. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to do what you got to do, right? I mean, so many of you can relate to this. And most importantly, like whenever you do the Zoom thing, just be really mindful of your audio. Like when you get in, make sure you turn on your audio. You can always check. The other thing is, I see it's really cute. Sometimes we let our kids use our Zoom accounts and they titled our names a certain way. You wanna make sure you retitle your name, make sure it's on brand for you. And and if you, let's say you're meeting a new customer or your boss or whatnot, just make sure the name reads right. And then take the time to like, look at yourself and spot check yourself before you actually go into the, the Zoom uh, meeting room too. That would be hopeful. Um, let's talk about, we got, so, I'm like, what else are we talking about? Christine, you lead it now. What, what else do we need to know about Zoom? Um, let me see. So I think uh, another good thing is try not to take Zoom calls right in the morning because you just always tend to still have that groggy kind of state of mind, your whole body. You haven't really done your breath breathing exercises or anything like that. Majority of people don't do breathing exercises or meditation in the morning to get themselves right. I mean, especially during the pandemic, a lot of people are sleeping with their laptops. So you might be just rolling over and logging on. 
that's not really the best time to do a Zoom. I love that we're doing one at 530 because I am energized and upbeat. If you would have asked me to do one at 8 a.m., I would have been like this, like just dead. <laughs> I did a summit on Friday and it started at 9 a.m. and I had no makeup on. I was pissed. I didn't want to be there. But that's like the worst time to, to try and be inspirational and hold a Zoom. Um, so that's a big tip, I would say. Know your audience and knowing your content. Again, if you're going to have to be motivation, motivational or inspirational, you know, definitely don't do that in the morning to me. That's the kind of thing that you want to do after somebody's had a cup of coffee, after they've had breakfast or lunch or something like that, so that you're keeping their attention. Um, so all of that really matters. You know, your content and the time of day you're holding it, the as you said, the lighting, all of that should be taken into consideration. You shouldn't just be hopping onto a Zoom. I love that. I love that. And then, yeah, and I would definitely recommend, you know, like maybe just before your Zoom meeting, just start preparing like two or three minutes prior. It'll just give you some peace of mind. You know, go to the mirror and make sure your hair doesn't look all crazy and frizzy. If uh, if that, that happens to me all the time, actually. Um, Able HD, a lot mm -hmm. of low def, but those are great Zoom settings that you can easily enable HD. You can easily test your microphone. You can easily test uh, the video, as you said. Don't think that the coolest and the trendiest background is going to be the one for you. I always try to say, make sure your lighting matches the background. You know, if you're in a dark room, why would you have a Zoom, a virtual <laughs> Zoom background with all of these windows? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> doesn't make sense. Her. Yeah. Yes. And I have another tip for you, too. I would actually, when you're getting ready, like a couple minutes prior, actually log on to fast.com. Fast.com is great because it tests your internet speed. So give you a good indication going in how it's going to look like. So if your fast.com like signal is really low, then I always say go through your computer, turn off all the windows, turn off your calendar, turn off your email, maybe tell one of the kids, hey, guys, I'm going to go on Zoom right now. Can you like absolutely stop with the Minecraft for right now or whatever until, you know, mom's done, you know, so that's a really good if you check your fast.com and your number is over a hundred, you know, you're probably going to be okay. But if it's lower than a hundred, definitely start turning things off. You might even at that point consider doing audio too, because, um, you know, you don't want that sort of competition between video and audio taking up your connection. You want to make sure whoever's on the other side sees you really clearly, you know, as I'm talking right now, I'm seeing my, uh, my, 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 um, my friends, uh, iMessage is popping up. So I just close that too, because that sucks away oh. the bandwidth, you know? For those oh. of us who are running Max, you know how that is. Not just the bandwidth, but that's annoying. That's a that's a great point, is to make sure that your computer's on quiet hours, because then you've got the emails coming through and it's pinging and the IMs going through, and you don't want any distractions. Great point about making sure that the kids know what you're doing or having some type of sign on your door. That doesn't work for me because my son is in the bed right now. Uh, but you know, the other thing I wanted to say was sometimes the old school working women had it right. Like know your colors because I know that I'm a warm autumn. So I look best in like really rich jewel tones. When you look like you have on a marigold as opposed to like a bright hot yellow. So I'm feeling like you might be a warm autumn with me too. I wear a lot of marigold um, as well. And that also is just flattering and it just, elevates your complexion and, and just enhances it so much more. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I love that. The other thing that I've learned from television, so I'll share this with you, is, um, you know, understand when you're on Zoom, people are always watching you. So just be mindful of that. Um, one thing that I told my kids, too, is, you know, even though you sort of space out, someone's still watching you. So try to, if you can, stay focused on the camera, kind of keep a smile on at least at some, you know, a natural smile at some point. And if you need to walk away, you just need a moment to get something to drink or whatever. Everybody's very forgiving. But if it's something more than that, just consider turning your camera off and your audio off temporarily and then come back. Because, you know, we've all been in those meetings where there's a lot of people in the meeting and then there's one person where, you know, the dog's barking and then the gardener's coming and it's like all crazy and we all hear it. <laughs> Actually, Christy, I have, I have a funny story to share with you. So actually, the first week of school with my kids, um, I think it was my second grader. Yeah, my second grader. Um, one of the kids actually got up and 
change clothes in the middle of class and the entire oh class saw. And, and then, um, you know, luckily, we, you know, he told us about it. And so we told the teacher, but that just goes to show you that right now, even if you think the camera's off, you got to yeah. make sure the camera's off. And what I like to do, especially if you're using a computer, you know, make sure there's no light <laughs> on <laughs> Exactly. But adult, but God bless a little second grader because adults have the same problem with audio. I mean, how many sideline conversations have you heard this year on Zoom with somebody thinking that they were on mute and they weren't? Yeah, absolutely. So great tips all around. Christine, I don't know about you, but I, I wish we could travel together and spend some time together because you are certainly on the top of my list of people I would love to meet in real life. And, 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 and just if we could take a moment, because I know you are everywhere. You contribute and write for everywhere. In fact, I love what you do at Forbes. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the projects that you're working on where people can learn more about you and, of course, where they can continue to stay connected to you? Absolutely. My site is Christine michellecarter.com and my twitter and instagram are c michelle carter you can connect with me on facebook at christine michelle carter or linkedin as well i am a forbes women senior contributor i just released an article today actually um helping women with a template on how to talk to their bosses about working from home permanently so you can always find my articles there absolutely when you go to social you can find all of my links as well um, and please do stay connected because I love hearing the stories of women and often incorporate them into my articles. So thank you. I, know. I love that. It's super helpful. And, and what a great topic of, you know, having that discussion with your employer, thinking about like, can I work from home permanently? I just had a meeting with a with a client um, right before we joined here. Same sort of situation, like wondering when it's going to look like, will she be going back to the office or should we be working from home permanently? And I think certainly this pandemic has shown us that, believe it or not, we can actually get a lot of work okay. done at home. I never would have guessed, Christine. I am not a work from home person, but I'm just shocked of <laughs> the, this evolving <laughs> of working from home. Yeah. I love this. I, well, thank you sincerely. And thank you all of you who have tuned in to Modern Mom Monday. It is such an honor to be here with all of you. We love, I know Christine and I both love Modern Mom so much. And, and you know, it's exciting to have these conversations, conversations where we can come together. We are seeing your comments that we can have these like real conversations that us, that moms like us really care for. I know you about you, Christine, but I feel like, you know, um, Sometimes I haven't been, I haven't looked for a beauty product or whatnot for myself and eons because so much of that focus has been on my children and work. But you know, if it weren't for work, I don't know that like, I don't even think I would get regular haircuts like I should. <laughs> yeah, agreed. Yeah. Wouldn't be investing in myself probably. So unless I had to do photo shoots or be on camera and all of that too. But that is a shame because we should be taking care of, of our I, yeah. I definitely, I think every mom should go out and, and indulge every now and again. You know, we, we spend so much time taking care of them. Who's taking care of us? I love that. Well, you know, Lena says absolutely. And I'm in agreement with you. And Lena, I'm seeing your like animal um, crossing little avatar. I'm kind of loving that. <laughs> that. You know, what? you're a mom when you know what Animal Crossing is, right, Christine? Um, right. I'm a robot. <laughs> I know, I know. I absolutely adore you. Thank you so much, my friend, for being here. Thank you for everything that you do. And for those of you who are watching, I want to invite you to check out Modern Mom's website and all the articles, some amazing contributors. And we have more and more fun topics of coming to you in the next few months. So I'm super excited. Definitely join and follow Modern Mom on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, to check out their website. So that way you can catch the next episode. If anything that we shared today was helpful, uh, do make a point and share it with a friend because after all, sharing is caring. And so with that, Christine, thank you, my friend, and we will see you next time. Thank you.